Are you a business owner that could use just one more customer? Those empty tables, vacant appointments, idle employees, and expired merchandise are missed opportunities. What if there were a community that connects you to high value and motivated customers, giving you a competitive edge in the marketplace and increasing your revenue? Introducing Partners One. You keep doing what you do best, taking care of your customers, and we'll do what we do best, sending you new customers to take care of. Call us today to find out how Partners One can work for your business. Welcome to The Rocket Right Show, starring Hurricane Betsy Barnes and Dr. K. Solar, two busy blondes with their fingers on the pulse of all things Louisiana, events, health, leisure, entertainment, and more. It's The Rocket Right Show, and now, here's Betsy and Kay. Welcome to the New Year's Eve weekend show for Rock It Right. We are so glad that you could join us. You have been with us all year, and 2021 has been a really good year because we're two busy and sometimes crazy blondes who are... Uh, crazy? What you talking about, girl? <laughs> I don't know. I know. I know we're always on the go. We have a lot of fun, and we've had a lot of fun this year with a lot of our guests. Mm -hmm. We really have. And so you're going to be seeing us out and about even more. We have some really... Uh, surprising and special things planned for 2022. Because 2022 is going to be way better. It is going to be way better. <laughs> for a lot of reasons. I think We're everybody already. feels that. Everybody feels that. Yeah. They're like really going, woohoo. Yeah, retaliation, travel, and fun. Yes. For all the fun we didn't have, all the rest that we got in 2020 and some in 2021, mm -hmm. we're just ready to go wide open. So a friend of mine in Raleigh, North Carolina, every Friday used to say, the weekend is wide open. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, 2022 wide open. You just don't know what's going to happen. So <laughs> we're really appreciative of our sponsors and everybody that's made it possible for us to do what we do and be who we are and be a little crazy now and then and just um, kind of travel around the state and share people that we love their story. We love their vibe. We love their aura. We love their energy. We and love we their think passion. That you should know them exactly or know about that event exactly and that's what we hope that we've brought to you we're just going to be bringing more of that to you that's right and so because now that people can travel more absolutely. we can travel more because mm. we were really kind of in 2020 when our show launched on tv not just radio as it was in years previous we, we thought we were going to have people from all over the state be able to come in and see us but they couldn't and so we've got a little bit of making up to do Mm -hmm. We got a little splaining to do. Splaining. And we got a little splaining to do. <laughs> um, we're really looking forward to sharing some of the great people, personalities, traditions, celebrations, and festivities that are going to happen in 2022. And we'll be going into our seventh year. That's crazy. That's right. And we were the only two women on talk radio in the state of Louisiana as a duo. And how did we connect together? Isn't that crazy? Oh, uh, how we really connected together was we met at a Dukes of Hazard family uh, reunion. I'm going to tell you, and that's but, a whole other story there. <laughs> we'll Just tell you that saying. story another time. <laughs> but we felt like when we met, we knew each other. And in, in a way, I have to say, we kind of did because we've just been so always supportive and accepting of each other and our tribes that are in concentric circles. So we care about the same types of things and we're very happy to be very patriotic Americans. We're uh, really thankful for the opportunities that we've been given, not just individually, Kay being a doctor, me being a talker. And so <laughs> <laughs> Which has really been dampened lately. Y'all know I've been missing this girl on the show because her voice has been out and that is not a Betsy thing. No. I'm just saying that is not a no. Betsy thing. But in so. 2022, it's going to be full on. I'm just warning you, mm -hmm. full on. She's so going to make up for it. I'm going to make up for it. That's what she's but saying. We wanted to take a few minutes and we wanted to talk a little bit about the people who've made it possible for us to do what we do. And we're so grateful to Partners One Better Barter for Baton Rouge. They've been our studio sponsor. We have had over 80 interviews with small, independently owned and operated businesses, been able to tell their stories this year. And we're going to be sharing more of that from our YouTube 
channel and on our Facebook for Rocket Right because each and every one of these people stuck their neck out, covered a payroll, made it through the most challenging time that we can remember as a country and a state. And their stories of how they survived in business are just great stories of American ingenuity and tenacity. Absolutely. And a lot of that that helped them was being members of Partners One. Yeah, that's and, right. And so, which has been amazing to us. And uh, we're really thankful for them, as well as Citigroup Hospitality. Oh, my uh, goodness. They really are exemplified, are an example of how you can take a really lemon and turn it into lemonade because they were right. able to expand their business uh, during the most challenging times by opening additional restaurants. Um, Stephen Hightower and every person who's worked for him has moved the needle so far forward on the dining experience in Baton Rouge that we're grateful for that. And when COVID occurred, we could not get into the studios at Talk 107.3 FM. We only had our radio show, and we were also on KWLA 103.1 in Manning, Anacoco, Natchitoches, all the way into Texas. But because Stephen Hightower was able to open up Rouge Creole for us, and we were able to do our show, we ended well, up they getting were the closed. attention. They were closed, mm -hmm. but they allowed us to come in and sit by ourselves, socially distanced safely, and continue to produce our show. And Kevin Gallagher was our extraordinary producer. So I'm talking about March through May 2020. Really starting to get in May, we couldn't get into the studio for Talk 107.3 FM just to be careful. And, and Stephen Hightower allowed us that. Gabby Lubier Higgins with Brew Ha Ha allowed us that. Yeah. And we were so thankful to be able to have people that believed in us enough to give us a location to be able to do our to show on Facebook show. And, and be able to broadcast. Goodness, and then uh, Pelican Broadcasting came on board. Pelican and, hey, Broadcasting. Hey, now you get to see us and not just hear us. And <clears throat> I'm sure right. everybody thinks that that's a blessing because they know that we are true blondes, even though we're saying That's right. It, and another <laughs> another busy blonde, Debbie Gotro Trailer had been trying to get in touch with us. Alan Trailer and Burt Carson own Pelican Broadcasting, and they're the ones that gave us the opportunity to bring our show from radio to TV. So without them, we could not have done that. And then Jim Bob All Good, Mid-South Broadcasting, Nat Natchitoches, Fidelia, Faraday, 80 miles into Mississippi, mm -hmm. said, we want to carry your show. And so we have some other stations that will be, but thank you, thank you, thank you for mm -hmm. those people. Guarantee Media, Gordy Rush, Talk yeah. 1073, those people that have made it possible for us to be heard on uh, multiple platforms, multiple, platforms, multiple stations. We love also bringing you the latest in medical news. And thank goodness yes. for Mary Bird Perkins, uh, who has stuck with us all this time yes. uh, for many, many years. And we appreciate being able to really give you the latest in medical knowledge and what's going on in the communities but so many other sponsors elite chiropractic with dr ron mcmorris yes. we've got dr leah larson dentistry high tower dr. dental Bo cost concepts yes. Yes. dr boyd michael helm yes with advantage health solutions mm -hmm. about whitetail property whitetail properties louisiana and mississippi jeff taylor has been a phenomenal supporter and they have gained a lot of business not only have we personally done business mm -hmm. with whitetail properties with our rural outlying properties that we own but also they have been great advisors to people wanting to invest during the pandemic to get out because of town. Because people did want country land. That's they right. Did. And also Selassie's Jewelry. So The very first sponsor that we had mm -hmm. coming into the TV show was Stuart and Renee Selassie, Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts, located in the Antique District of Denham Springs. Stuart and I have been friends since we were three years old. Three years old. That's why he's our sponsor. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Hey, when you've been to Miss Noonan's Daycare, Mother's Day Out from three years old, Old, and somebody comes to you and says, hey, I want to do something a little different, and they believe in you, Stuart has always, always been that person, mm -hmm. that friend, that encourager. So if you need any jewelry ever, you need to go and, to see Stuart and Renee. They do a phenomenal job. And, you know, um, and I'm sure we could have left somebody out, but we're thankful for everybody who's been a guest on the show. Oh, absolutely. Contributive. It's been so, and we just can't wait to keep expanding what we're doing. Yes. But 
uh, for New Year's, everybody's making their resolutions. And, you know, one of the things that's uh, one of the top resolutions this year is to make a new hobby. And I know I've added painting, and y'all might see some of this soon, but I also saw, saw that Stuart has done the same thing. I've been, uh, I've been looking painting. at his stuff online, he and so is. that's great. So, you so know. My, one of my uh, New Year's resolutions, bucket list items, is travel more. Travel, travel more, more. Well, now this that you past can. year. And hopefully you won't have to go in horse, <clears throat> horse and buggy because and, and, they get rid of your car. But I'm just Look, saying. Look, I'd be re willing to go horse and buggy. Just take me somewhere <laughs> that's beautiful outdoors. I mean, I really have to say, this year traveling on the oldest operating schooner, um, that, that Stephen Tabor out of Maine, that is one of the National Register of Historic Places, places it is the Stephen Tabor schooner out of Maine was one of the most phenomenal things 150 years old well I we'll have, have to share pictures that. from that because Betsy we showed me and they were beautiful but we have beautiful. less than a minute left and we got to tell you about our fantastic lineup of guests we have got yes. singer songwriter musician Sarah Dugate she's going to be cool. like tell us what's happening in Nashville with her career play us a little tune and we've got Orlando Eric Street, yes. an actor, director, filmmaker. He's going to tell us what's shaking there. And again, I'm going to be hanging at Rouge Creole telling you what's happening for New Year's Eve. It is going to be a cranking place. So y'all stay with us yes. for the whole show. And I want to tell you, we just hope it's a great new year for everyone. That's and right. Betsy and I are going to do a six foot apart toast <laughs> right here uh we're gonna take a little commercial break and y'all stay put because we have some great music up next with miss sarah dugay there's a joy of life you'll find only in louisiana a spirit of celebration that takes your senses places they've never been before. Where expressions of joy are an art form and our way of life. Where an abundance of good food, good times, and great music means there's more than enough to go around. Come one, come y'all. Come feed your soul in Louisiana. I'm John Goodman inviting you to visit louisianatravel.com and plan your getaway today. The use of opioids and addiction to opioids is on the rise, especially in Louisiana and I wanted to be a part of the solution. If you have a family member or loved one that you are concerned about with regards to opioid use, please call my clinic, Advantage Health Solutions. You can speak with my nurse or you can speak with myself, and we will talk to you about how to get that person into treatment, and we'll tailor what we do to your needs, and we'll do what we can to get your loved one in treatment and onto the path to health. Red Stick Music, Baton Rouge's live music calendar since 2014, with a full calendar available on the website 24-7. Clickable links to artists and venues. View the entire weekend lineup at a glance and plan your outings with your friends. View professional recordings of local live musicians. Watch interviews with people in our music community and find additional resources. Red Stick Music, Baton Rouge's live music calendar. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser from the great state of Louisiana. Hurricane Ida has brought great devastation to our community. In time of need, Louisianans always step up and help their neighbor. This time is no different. We'll help our neighbors and friends get back as we always do. If you need help or know of someone that needs help or would like to volunteer or make a donation, go to volunteerlouisiana.gov. We are Louisiana strong. Thank you. Since the early 1800s, the Selassie family has played a significant role in the retail industry in Louisiana. Stuart Selassie has achieved the Certified Diamond Graduate designation from the prestigious Gemological Institute of America. What that means to you, whether it's appraisals, design, build, repair, or diamond sales, you have an expert you can count on. At Selassie's, you make all the right choices. Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts, in the heart of the Denno Springs Antique District. Find them on Facebook. Visit one of our 21 state parks all over Louisiana. Let's go to the state park. There are 21 of them, you know. And the state 
parts of biking and hiking, tubing, and we can even ride horses. Or we can go exploring and even swim by a beach. They have cabins, really nice ones, with long fishing piers. Don't forget to tell them about the discounts. Oh yeah, book three nights and we get the fourth night free. Great job. Thanks. Louisiana State Parks, we're ready for your adventure. Are you a business owner that could use just one more customer? Those empty tables, vacant appointments, idle employees, and expired merchandise are missed opportunities. What if there were a community that connects you to high value and motivated customers, giving you a competitive edge in the marketplace and increasing your revenue? Introducing Partners One. You keep doing what you do best, taking care of your customers, and we'll do what we do best, sending you new customers to take care of. Call us today to find out how Partners One can work for your business. Hi, I'm Dr. Ron McMorris of Elite Chiropractic in Livingston Parish, conveniently located off the I-12 corridor in Walker and Albany. If you suffer from sciatica, migraines, or other pain conditions, give us a call to see if we have a technique that best fits you. We have multiple techniques, including chiropractic adjustments, massage therapy, dry needling, rehab, and much more. Again, I'm Dr. Ron McMorris with Elite Chiropractic in Livingston Parish, Walker and Albany. We're so glad that you could join us for a little New Year's fun with uh, Rocket Wright. We are so glad to introduce you. If you have not met her already, we want to introduce you to our friend Sarah Dugay. She is a singer-songwriter from Louisiana who just picked up her family, moved to Nashville, and is making it happen. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you. And, thank and you, you just rolled me. in today. She right. just drove They're in They're hanging in the parking lot. Us. Oh, yeah. That's right. Y'all are special. We there are, ain't we no better that. blondes we're, we're in glad. Baton Rouge. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, we met in 2018 at the Third Street Songwriters right. Festival at the show, the yes. big show, and just hit it right off. Yeah, we did. And you and Kay networked around, and then you ended up, I believe, with a scholarship from the Solo Music Festival. Is yeah, that correct? That's because of Miss Kay. And then you got to go to London. Yeah, I which played, is crazy. Well, it was just coincidental because it um, all fell into <laughs> place, ladies. Just I just so happened you know to be on happens. the radio over there at the same time, so yes. it was perfect. Yeah, yes. yeah. Thanks, Miss Kay. You gave me that little opening slot. She did. I know. Who'd have thunk it? Right. Yeah. And a few you months later, know, that's the thing is you never know what moment mm -mm. is going to spark the next thing. I went from that to playing the Opry in less than a year. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, thank yeah, you. From, most from people go, that takes third, 10. Yeah, third <laughs> street, <laughs> from the Third Street Songwriters Festival to less than a year playing on the stage at the Grand Ole Opry, I think the week you moved to Nashville. Yeah, the, it was my first gig when I moved to With her husband town. and her two beautiful babies. <laughs> and oh, they just said, you. we'll live in a one-bedroom apartment if that's what we have to do, but this is my dream, <laughs> and I'm not going to hold back. And that wasn't your education. Songwriting wasn't your education. Tell them what you did well, before. I've, yeah, I've been writing since I was like eight years old. I've always known that this is what I was going to do. But I love a whole lot of things, and I think the more well-rounded you are, the better songwriter you are, the more life you live, the better songwriter you are. So I took an opportunity. McNeese State University paid me a nice little penny to go to school. So I did that, and I was a wildlife biologist. I've been published a few times. I worked yes. for the great state of Texas and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. And you've taught women how to hunt. Yeah, I used to teach women how to hunt for <laughs> Louisiana. Yeah. you got to love that Louisiana girl, right? Well, that always that. helps with songwriting, and That's right. It? Especially <laughs> country songwriting. That's right, and that's I'm right. country. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. She's yeah. country. Y'all need to follow Sarah Dugay on Instagram. She is so funny, and I love her videos. Oh, thank you. And so you got the opportunity to write with really a phenomenally famous country music writer, Jim Lauderdale. Oh, yeah. Jim's cut... He's cut four of my songs now. He cut one of Chaos's, my son's. Uh, it's called Rainbow Choo Choo Train. Jim cut <laughs> one of those, too. Okay. It's all in the family now. Yeah. Now it is. <laughs> yeah, we've been doing a lot since then. I've, um, do you know Leanne Phelan? I've yeah. been working with Leanne. Actually, okay. CJ was at my house. We were writing the day that we connected. And um, we've been, we hit it off, and we've been working together ever since. And she just recently connected me to Jennifer Johnson. Do you know Jennifer? I do know Jennifer. And Jennifer and I have been texting about my next release, so mm -hmm. we'll see what happens. But Nashville's yes. been 
really great. And you know what? We're not living in that one bedroom anymore. We're in a house. I know. This week, girl. Things have gone so <laughs> well for you. I mean, really, it is a dream come true kind of story, the way that things very quickly fell into place. But when you're right in the right place at the right time, and God is so good, he's going to put those people in your path, and it just opens up. And I have to say, there's been so many Louisiana, there's so many Cajun people in Nashville. Yes, and right. Isn't it crazy? People don't realize It's amazing. That. I see more oh, of my yeah. friends in Nashville than I do than I did when I lived here. But and it's crazy. And the last time you and CJ saw each other, one was at that yes. new Cajun restaurant. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's right on 12th <laughs> South. I was doing a Here promo. <laughs> that was funny. I was doing promo for Gumbo Brothers uh, in Up Walk CJ. And there he was. And I was like, well, y'all sit down. to them some good gumbo. <laughs> she, in she's authentic, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> Yes. Well, you brought your guitar. I we did. want you to share one of your original songs okay, and bless it. people with it. Yes, what you going to play you. is? I'm going to play one that I wrote by myself. You know, those are kind of rare, aren't they, once you move to town? And um, I wrote my first record all completely alone, and that's the one that got me to BBC Radio and ended up on the Opry. But um, when you move to town, you start to collaborate and learn a few things. But one night I was laying on the couch, and this commercial came on, and it, this girl said something about Now, I was, like, laying upside down. I don't know if that's what made me think different. But <laughs> this girl in the commercial said, Stepping Stone. And I said, oh, man, I'd heard that right then like I'd never heard it before. And I thought, what a message to send to all them small-town girls. She had a heart that was wanting to find a home when she found a spark in some Joe up the road. She thought she could turn mediocre into solid gold. But she was looking for a rock from a stepping stone. She thought it was love She kept sinking down Stuck in the mud Sucked into unstable ground He was nice enough Yeah, from what I was told But she was looking for a rock From a stepping stone She wanted to shine, but stayed in the shadows, wanted to fly, but she forgot her halo, wish she would try to search a little longer without the fear of growing old. And never settle for a rock from a stepping stone. <laughs> One day he cracked. He couldn't take the pressure, and that was that. He was gone before forever. Well, now she's lost. Couldn't see what she was standing on. When she was looking for a rock from a stepping stone. That was That's awesome, beautiful. Sarah. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you. Yes. Well, <laughs> so tell me, is there any big things to look forward to in 2022 now that we are there? <laughs> yeah, you know, I think it feels good. It feels that way. I'll tell you, I just not too long ago came back down to Louisiana. We sold out the ACA, Acadiana Center for the Arts, over in Lafayette. That's awesome. And then I got to play um, the listening room. The Red Dragon The Red Dragon. Room. Yes, you did. That was awesome. Um, and so now, having worked with Leanne and Jennifer, to be honest, I'm kind of buckling 
stepping down for the time being and getting ready for my next release, which I think will be in 2022. So, but I did, Bobby's Idol Hour just asked me to start doing as much stuff there as I possibly can. And um, if you're ever at Whiskey Jam, you should check that out because we've been talking about maybe doing something there too. So, and so coming so soon. So that people can know when she's back in Louisiana, what you're doing in Nashville if they're up visiting. Yes. The best place is to check out your website. Would that's that right. be? My website is www.saradugay, that's Cajun baby, S-A-R-A-D-O-U-G-A dot com. You can check it out on Instagram as well. TikTok's a little bit starting to blow up there with some funny videos and Facebook too, y'all. Okay, and the same thing. Same thing. Just Sarah your name. Dugay, just Sarah my name. Sarah Dugay. Easy peasy to find That's her. That's right. Figure out what she's going on. Well, you know what, Betsy and I, thank since it's the new year, we That's do right. want to toast for a fantastic oh, 2022 20. for That's you, right. making it the biggest year yet, girl. Thanks. All right, we love it. And Betts, what's up next? Well, we are going to be talking with Eric Orlando Street. He is a really well-known actor that you might not know. That's him from Baton Rouge, actor, director, filmmaker. And he's going to be talking about the movie industry, the impact that it has on Louisiana. And uh, and then hey, we're going to be I'm back, gonna be at, back Rouge at Rouge Creole. Rouge, Rouge Creole because, you know, I live there. And we're going to be talking about New Year's Eve parties. So y'all stay put and That's hang right. with us. Don't go nowhere. Don't go Cheers. nowhere. That's right. <laughs> My biggest concern was my family and being able to see me come home every day and know everything is going to be okay. I felt comfortable that I was being treated by some of the best. There were some scary points along the way, but um, it's just kind of like been a little blip in the road. Money, wellness, fun. Rocket Right Radio takes you all across Louisiana and the nation with guests who live life to the fullest. I'm Hurricane Betsy Barnes. I'm Dr. K. Solar. You're going to love it. Join us every week when we cover everything under the sun. Live and learn with the Wright Sisters. Politics. Health. Music and entertainment. Local Lagnet. Rocket Right Radio. You're going to love it. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser the great state of Louisiana. Hurricane Ida has brought great devastation to our community. In time of need, Louisianans always step up and help their neighbor. This time is no different. We'll help our neighbors and friends get back as we always do. If you need help or know of someone that needs help or would like to volunteer or make a donation, go to volunteerlouisiana.gov. We are Louisiana strong. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Boyd Michael Helm, founder of Advantage Health Solutions. Here to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And if you or a loved one is having struggles with opioid addiction this year, please don't hesitate to call us at Advantage Health Solutions. The number is 225-769-6595. Give us a call and we'll get you back on the road to health and a bright future. Red Stick Music, Baton Rouge's live music calendar since 2014. With a full calendar available on the website 24-7. Clickable links to artists and venues. View the entire weekend lineup at a glance and plan your outings with your friends. View professional recordings of local live musicians. Watch interviews with people in our music community and find additional resources. Red Stick Music, Baton Rouge's live music calendar. Whitetail Properties is not your average real estate company. Land specialist and MSU alum Jeff Taylor in Mississippi and LSU fan realtor Kay Taylor have teamed up. Their sole purpose is uniting buyers and sellers of recreational land. If you are interested in hunting, ranch, investment, and timber properties, Whitetail Properties experts have the right real estate for you. Call Jeff Taylor, 601-248-9433 or Kay Taylor, 225-719-0495 or visit whitetailproperties.com. At Hightower Dental Concepts, we take a compassionate approach to family dentistry. Our goal is to make your dental experience comfortable and informative so you can make the best dental care decisions for you and your family. We're welcoming new patients to our dental family at Essen and Perkins, and we look forward to meeting you soon at Hightower Dental Concepts. Call us today at 769-0031 or request your appointment at info at dentalconceptsbr.com. Thank <laughs> you.
There's a joy of life you'll find only in Louisiana. A spirit of celebration that takes your senses places they've never been before. Where expressions of joy are an art form and our way of life. Where an abundance of good food, good times, and great music means there's more than enough to go around. Come one, come y'all. Come feed your soul in Louisiana. I'm John Goodman inviting you to visit louisianatravel.com and plan your getaway today. And welcome back to Rocket Right. We are so glad that you could be with us. You know, it's kind of cool when you turn on TV or you go to the movie theater, you go somewhere and you see a familiar face. Well, you might not realize that that familiar face is Orlando Eric Street. So we're really glad that we could get on your schedule because you've been kind of busy. I've been busy, yeah. Thank you for having so, me. Thank, thank you, you for coming. So you're just a really good guy that does a lot of good things for a lot of people. I try to. And they don't even realize you're in the movie biz. Right, right. They I, might not realize. Yeah, I so try how to, long have you oh, been sorry. in that movie biz? I've been in it seriously for the last 10 years. Um, okay. Before that, I kind of messed around with it a little bit, mm -hmm. um, didn't take it too seriously. So I buckled down and then I started booking roles in films and start having a good time meeting some people. So you're very humble and I know you don't like to brag, but tell us a few of the projects that you've recently finished because it is kind of impressive. Uh, I just did a movie called uh, Do You Remember? Uh, yes. Don't Look Back. Swing, uh, uh, the perfect mate. Uh, uh, That's a long list. Yes, it's, it's a couple to me, more. Yeah. To me, House so, Divided. The House Divided. I was on that TV series, House Divided. And I did uh, probably 10, 10, 12 commercials and three national commercials this year. Been really busy. Wow. Hello. And are all these being filmed in Louisiana? Or are you like traveling all over the place? Uh, one film I, I went to go shoot that in uh, LA, and the rest of them are here in New Orleans or various parts of That's Louisiana. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That is awesome because a lot of people want that opportunity. Yes. And so you just being you right. happen to have that opportunity. Yeah. So the other thing that you do that I greatly appreciate, and I hope you feel the appreciation, is you mentor other people who are trying to kind of find themselves in the arts, mm -hmm. in the creative arts. Yes. And so you kind of give them a list of here's a checklist. If you're serious, what you need to do. What are a couple of the things? Tell us if somebody wants to break in what do you recommend now that you've been able to do it well uh i recommend that they just don't run off to those commercials that say hey bring your kid in uh be next discovered because it actually doesn't work that way uh you have to uh get everything done professionally you have to get your headshots done properly um you got to get a reel together you also have to uh get your resume together and and, and put, put in work, training with it. You know, most people think that they say, hey, I'm going to be an actor. And I say, well, go, go ahead, go for it. And they get out there and they freeze up. Because it's not as easy as most people think. But, I mean, it's a lot of fun, but it's, it's a lot of work with it also. But I, I, be, I feel bad for uh, the young people that try to get out there and try to act. And they, they have no clue and they're wasting all their money and time. So. And, it, and it's part of that that they just pick up things and they run to one of the big cities la or new york and they just show up there and they haven't really prepared themselves right right is it's, you can't just get up and leave right. uh like for example my resume is is it's very good and you know i have an agent in la in dallas in north carolina in in, in louisiana but m most people they, they they don't even have one thing on their resume and they're trying to run out the, to LA to think they're right. gonna get into some show and it's, right. it's not gonna happen that way. Yeah. You have yeah. to put in some work and, um, and Louisiana is like the Hollywood of the South. So That's right. It's, Absolutely. We got some Which good stuff great. going on here. Yeah. And, they, and they you can people. stay here too. Yeah. I mean, that, I mean, that's a great thing because uh, I think you have family here. And yes. It's great to be able to stay here and not have to move off. You might right. have to go off for a time period to, like, shoot something. Right. If the opportunity comes up right. Right. Uh, yeah, I don't mind that. Yeah, but I love it that in Louisiana, my mother's here and I get to spend time mm -hmm. with her and my brother-in-law and my sister. So yes. uh, that's that's just great for me. That's so, great. It, you yeah. know, it's good to come on back home and, and they give me a hard time after a shoot or something. They keep you grounded. They, oh, they keep me really <laughs> grounded, you know. So. So when did you decide that you wanted to be an actor? 
Well, I, I always wanted to be a director producer ever since I was little. Okay. I used to make my family make home movies. I said, "Come on, guys, you know, and I get everybody together and we make something like the the Donut King. It's like a little mafia movie about <laughs> about the family killing each other over some donuts and stuff." But I used to make a bunch of home movies uh, with my family that was like horror films and stuff. It's just pretty fun stuff to do. But I always wanted to direct and produce. So and you're doing some of that now. Is that yes, correct? Yes, I am. I'm produced some films and I, and I directed my first feature length film two years ago and right now we're putting together a Christmas film that we're planning on doing next year. Cool. Do you feel like uh, from being an actor that that helps you move into those roles or do you feel like from doing that as a child and like going that direction kind of helped you do the actor and stuff or do they all just kind of go together? Well. I, I purposely, like I, I told, well, I'm going to let everybody know, I know your son real well. I love yes. it. I call him my nephew. Yes. I did what he did. Like I go in and I try to learn everything about the film industry. I graduated uh, from Southern University of Broadcast Journalism. So I learned a lot of uh, television stuff then. Right. So I try to go on set and I try to learn every department because I want to know, you know, how to work everything. And I just kept gradually moving up, moving mm -hmm. up. And before long, I'm, I'm becoming friends with some big producers and directors, and they're actually educating me on how to do it right. So my first film was uh, actually pretty good. So I'm very, very excited about this Christmas film we're going to be doing next year. That's exciting. And I want to volunteer know, to be an extra. Well, you know, in yeah. every industry, I think the networking and the people that you meet and people working together, that just helps, you know, expand everybody's. Oh, yeah. Uh, you, you have to be uh, really nice on set and mm -hmm. polite. And I always manage to, to get with, to hang out with the director. And we get to have good, long conversations. Like, uh, I'll give you an example. Like, Morgan Freeman, uh, Michael Caine. Uh, I had them actually train me in some acting uh, skills and directing skills so you know when you get to sit down with them and talk to them hang out phenomenal you know, that's you know, amazing even though i'm geeking out i'm going like oh my god <laughs> yeah, you know like, but i gotta be like real cool like what's so up yeah, you, know, I know. So, <laughs> you know so i know <laughs> so but it's a lot of fun though but that's awesome but you know i think a lot of people think oh i want to be an actor and i'm going to make lots of money and you're going to be broke for a very long time while you hone your skills so if you think you're going to make a lot you're not, but the experience is the gold. Mm -hmm. It's the wealth that you're creating. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things that you do really well is you play a bad guy. Oh. <laughs> you're, you're such a and nice guy. And you just guy. don't look so bad up here. Oh. <laughs> you're such a nice guy, but it's kind of cool to stretch yourself that way. I mean, we don't have to really prepare because we just act like our goofy selves and that's easy. But becoming a different character, taking on that personality, that person's life history or what is meant to be their life history totally different yeah yeah it's it's <laughs> i usually played a good old wholesome dad and everything like hi kids yeah. you know but i had an opportunity on uh a house divided to play this really really bad guy and i just i loved every bit of it because of something different and me being a method actor you know i got to get into character once i get into that character you know it's like hard to get me out of it so when i'm on set i'm like kind of rude and stuff on set because I'm that character, but uh, it's, it's a lot of fun when you get to be somebody else other than mm -hmm. yourself for a short period of time. Mm -hmm. And then you go home and your family goes, cut, oh. film over. No, <laughs> man, my kids- I was thinking the same thing there. I'm just- My kids, I don't, I don't even, like my mother gets on me because she, I don't tell her like everything that I'm doing. And she goes like, did I just see you on TV? And I'm going like, yes, man. Why didn't you tell me? My kids see me. Oh, look at that. You know, but uh, I don't, we don't talk about it too much in my family. You know, it's just, I'm just Eric you know, at home and they give me a good old hard time. So that's right. So what is, what is ahead for you? I know we only have like a minute left, but what's ahead for you in 2022? What projects do you what would you like to do and what do you see happening? Well, I'm in negotiation with Walker Ranger to be one of the uh, reoccurring roles for that show. So that's going on between me and my agent right now. Uh, and I also got to produce uh, my Christmas film uh, next year. So I got some guys with Marvel Studios going to help me out with that. So That's awesome. I am so happy for you. 
I am so happy Very for exciting. you. I love to see your success just unfolding. Thank you guys so, for having me. Yeah. We are so glad <laughs> so, that you took time out on yeah. the new year to like share all this with us. And we just really want to toast that That's you right. have the best 2022 <laughs> ever. Thank you, Dr. King. Thank That's you, right. Betsy. If people want to follow you, where do they need to find you so they can be a fan? They go follow me on Instagram, Orlando Egg Street, Facebook, uh, Orlando Egg Street, and Twitter. Yes. I'm, I'm very bad with social media, but don't worry, we will share it all so you can just kind of link to it. Head to our Facebook That's page, right. Rocket Ride Entertainment. Yeah. We'll Rocket. have all the scoop for you. Thank you so much Thank for being with so us. We much. appreciate Thank you for it. Having I love you. Thanks for and being here. Thank you guys so much. Man, Super fans. I can't believe up next I'm gonna be having another visit to Rouge Creole talking about their New Year's Eve party. So y'all stay put. Hi, I'm Dr. Ron McMorris of Elite Chiropractic in Livingston Parish, conveniently located off the I-12 corridor in Walker and Albany. If you suffer from sciatica, migraines, or other pain conditions, give us a call to see if we have a technique that best fits you. We have multiple techniques, including chiropractic adjustments, massage therapy, dry needling, rehab, and much more. Again, I'm Dr. Ron McMorris with Elite Chiropractic in Livingston Parish, Walker and Albany. At Hightower Dental Concepts, we take a compassionate approach to family dentistry. Our goal is to make your dental experience comfortable and informative so you can make the best dental care decisions for you and your family. We're welcoming new patients to our dental family at Essen and Perkins, and we look forward to meeting you soon at Hightower Dental Concepts. Call us today at 769-0031 or request your appointment at info at dentalconceptsbr.com. Some call it joie de vie, the joy of life. In Louisiana, it's our way of life. From music that shakes up your senses to food that wakes up your palate. That joy vibrates in every note we play and spices up every meal we serve. So come live life to the fullest. Come one, come y'all, come feed your soul in Louisiana. I'm Sean Ardway inviting you to plan your trip at louisianatravel.com. Since the early 1800s, the Selassie family has played a significant role in the retail industry in Louisiana. Stuart Selassie has achieved the Certified Diamond Graduate designation from the prestigious Gemological Institute of America. What that means to you, whether it's appraisals, design, build, repair, or diamond sales, you have an expert you can count on. At Selassie's, you make all the right choices. Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts, in the heart of the Denham Springs Antique District. Find them on Facebook. Whitetail Properties is not your average real estate company. Land specialist and MSU alum Jeff Taylor in Mississippi and LSU fan realtor Kay Taylor have teamed up. Their sole purpose is uniting buyers and sellers of recreational land. If you're interested in hunting, ranch, investment, and timber properties, Whitetail Properties experts have the right real estate for you. Call Jeff Taylor, 601-248-9433 or Kay Taylor, 225-719-0495 or visit whitetailproperties.com. Visit one of our 21 state parks all over Louisiana. Let's go to the state park. There are 21 of them, you know. And state parks have biking and hiking, tubing, and we can even ride horses. Or we can go exploring and even swim by a beach. They have cabins, really nice ones, with long fishing piers. Don't forget to tell them about the discounts. Oh, yeah. Book three nights and we get the fourth night free. Great job. Thanks. Louisiana State Parks, we're ready for your adventure. The use of opioids and addiction to opioids is on the rise, especially in Louisiana, and I wanted to be a part of the solution. If you have a family member or loved one that you are concerned about with regard to opioid use, please call my clinic, Advantage Health Solutions. You can speak with my nurse or you can speak with myself, and we will talk to you about how to get that person into treatment, and we'll tailor what we do to your needs, and we'll do what we can to get your loved one in treatment and onto the path to health. I had a meeting with Dr. Barfield and it kind of just hit me. It probably is cancer. After the surgery, I wasn't scared anymore. I was looking forward to getting started with chemo. Not one time did I get a nurse in a bad mood. I was here for five hours at a time and I did not dread coming. To get people from around the country to come to Baton Rouge, and that says a lot right there. That this is a place that's cutting edge.
And you're back with the Rocket Right Show. I'm Dr. KSLR in the house with Bubbly Betsy Barnes for this New Year's. And I got a chance to go into Rouge Creole, hang out with the general manager, yes. Megan Young, and find out about the fantastic New Year's Eve party they have planned there. So y'all watch and uh, see what's in store. This week, I'm at Rouge Creole, sitting here at the bar with Megan Young, who is a general manager, and she is going to tell us all about what's happening here for New Year's Eve. I'm thinking it's something that you're going to want to put on your New Year's Eve plans. So, Megan, what is the scoop? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, we're going to have a really fun New Year's Eve here at Rouge Creole. Um, we're going to have our normal reservations going until about 8.30 that night. Um, and then starting at 9.30, we're going to have um, a prefix menu. It's okay. going to be $100 a person. Um, that's, for, that's per ticket for um, the prefix, which is a four-course menu. Four and courses, then, $100. Bucks. That's awesome. Already a good deal. Already a good deal. And that's also going to include a live band that we're going to have here centered right in the middle of the restaurant. Um, and then we're also going to do favors and champagne at midnight. Mm -hmm. um, and then van will go till 1 a.m. So uh, it's a really, really fun time. I can tell you, I did this two years ago, and it was such a fun time. And I even saved one of my favors. <laughs> I might have even, like, you know, gotten a hat or something. Yeah. I, I, I can't remember, but it was such a grand time. And uh, champagne, uh, you know, to top off the new year. I mean, what Absolutely. a great way uh, to spend it. So tell us about the menu. I mean, I love everything on the regular menu, but what y'all got cooking for New Year's Eve special? Yeah. So we're going to have some of our favorites on there. Um, it, the appetizer choices are going to have uh, our crab cakes and our baked brie, which are currently yes. on the menu. I uh, love that. Two yes. of the top favorites there, absolutely. Uh, but we're bringing that back an old favorite uh, that's been in high demand, people have been asking for, and that's our mushroom bean bill. It's a Bienville stuffed mushroom cap, and it's got oh, a little yeah. bit of lemon bourbon on top. Um, so that used to be a fan favorite, and now it's coming back for New Year's Eve. Um, and then the second course, we're going to have a choice of uh, our Sensation Salad, pretty classic, uh, our mm -hmm. duck and andouille gumbo, and then our crab and corn bits. Um, I'm already full. Right. <laughs> I haven't even got to the main course. Right. I'm already full. Well, you so. know, you've got a but nice... I'm going to eat for a long exactly. time. Exactly. Drag it right. out. I'm going to drag nice it out. Long time yeah. to, uh, you know, 9.30 on all the way till 1 a.m. You know how you can you can order all night. So um, third course is going to be pretty cool. Um, we're actually where we normally have our oyster grill set up, um, which is out in the dining room. We're going to have a carving station set up for prime rib. Um, okay. And then they'll get a choice of side on that with uh, mashed potatoes, grits, or cauliflower. Now, if they don't want the prime rib, we also have our classic fish for blanc. Um, again, that's a really popular dish here. Mm -hmm. We're going to bring over the crispy quail, which is actually on our Revion menu, oh, which we, yes. you know, we've talked about. Um, and then our lasagna that's uh, currently on the menu. Oh, my goodness. So you that can choose out of any of those for your entree. Yeah, so you have lots of choices, regardless if you have any dietary restrictions right. and stuff. Uh, it's going to be fit for, for you. And then if you can't wait till a champagne toast at midnight, I mean, y'all have so many great champagne cocktails. And I know these, these are sitting right here in front of us. Yeah. Uh, tell us uh, what we're looking at here. Yeah, so of course, you know, you'll be able to ring in the New Year with champagne, but uh, a lot of people on New Year's Eve like to drink champagne all night long. Absolutely. Um, so we have a <laughs> French 75 here, um, close to K, and that this is... This is me? Yes, that is... I um, think I'm French. Yes. Yeah. I think I'm French. Definitely give it a try. Yes. I, I probably need to take that out so it doesn't look like a mustache. <laughs> Just saying. So that's um, that's going to be a gin-based champagne okay. cocktail. Yummy. So gin, champagne, mm -hmm. and lemon juice. Really three simple it ingredients, but fabulous. So, it is fabulous. Yeah. I, I agree with that. Fabulous. Yes. And then we've got one that's a little more festive here. This is a Cure Royale. Um, that's champagne and then Chambord, which is a raspberry oh, liqueur. Who doesn't love yes. Chambord? Now, you, you have, you know, I'm going to let you okay. have that one. You All can't right. drink alone. I read and a thing that said that if your dog's at home, you're not drinking it long, but I didn't bring my dog to dinner this day, so and you've got <laughs> well, to drink let, this champagne. Let's get ahead of the game and go ahead and cheers. We need to t cheers. We are going <laughs> to toast in that New Year in style. 
And so when do people need to get those reservations made for, for New Year's Eve? So we'll have the link up on our website this week. Um, it goes through our reservation system so they can prepay for their tickets uh, and get their spot reserved. And that way you don't have to do anything that night. But That's show right. up That's it. and have fun. That's you, it. You're not going to uh, drink so many of these that you're going to walk out and forget to pay your ticket because you've already taken care of everything. And we did forget to mention dessert. That is oh, the, we, that's the last course. How could course, we forget right? dessert? You know, that was one of my we, favorite we, things. We just skipped ahead to the, the best part, right? Yeah, the to the but, drinks, <laughs> yeah. Um, but we do have a choice of bread pudding, um, our brownie, and our spice cake, which are all currently on the menu. So mm. everybody knows a little bit about those. Um, and then also wanted to mention that these cocktails here are always available during our happy hour. I love Year that. Round. A happy hour makes me happy. Yeah. And y'all have a long happy hour. We Let's do. talk about the happy hour hours. Yeah. So we have happy hour from 2 to 6 on Monday through Thursday. And then we have it 11 to 6 on Friday. So good old, a good old I mean, fashioned all day happy hour. That, that, that's right. On, on Friday, you clock out. Right. For those By of you with a four day work week, week. There you are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's right. We got a lot of four day work weeks. So, you know, you come on in at 11 and, and get started right on Friday. Yeah. Start the weekend so, right. Y'all are going to be ringing in the new year here. Um, uh, is there, uh, are y'all going to be open New Year's Day? Or is everybody going to stay home? Y'all are going to be open yeah. New Year's Day. So we're going to give the staff a little bit of a break. We're going to open at 3 p.m. Uh, on okay. New Year's Day. So um, because, you know, I, I kind of talked to you a little bit about about this before this, but um, New Year's Eve is always a fun shift for the staff to work. Right. So they actually all really enjoy it. Uh, the band is really fun for them to be around. Mm -hmm. We decorate with balloons, and uh, it, it, it's a very festive environment. Absolutely. Um, and you it's know, a party for everybody. Yeah. And the last time we did this, you know, once once all the food was cooked, everybody got to come out and enjoy the the band and ring in the new year all together yeah. as a, as a staff, a family staff. You know, so that was really great for them. Yeah, absolutely. And so they get to sleep in. On, you know, yeah. on New Year's Day, but then back open for dinner yeah. um, at, at, at 3 p.m. And what uh, what are some of the things that people can look forward to for uh, 2022 at Rouge? Well, you know, just I think in general in 2022, getting back to some normalcy here, you know, um, we didn't get for to sure. do the band and the festivities last year. So we're right. really excited about bringing that back. Right. And then um, we're going to have some fresh stuff coming in late winter, early spring. Uh, definitely a new cocktail list. Um, our happy hour uh, favorites are still going to be there, but uh, some new signature always, cocktails that we're so bringing So nobody in. can say that they've tried everything because there's always something new rolling yeah, out. Absolutely. I think that that's the, that's the way to go. I, I love that. And um, so if someone does not get on in time to get their reservations here uh, for the big party on New Year's Eve, several of the city hospitality group restaurants will be having a prefix menu yeah, uh, yeah and so you can probably go to the city port uh, main the, website the city group hospitality city website, group, yes, yes and like scoot around if yeah. you miss out on the band and the food and everything Absolutely. here right? but i can attest uh, I missed New Year's last year, and so two years ago I was here, and it was just a fantastic party. Great time. Now, we have less than a minute left. I just want to know your uh, New Year's resolutions, Megan. Well, I hate to sound, you know, tired and generic, but I, it really is true. I'm getting back on my diet and getting back to my exercising. I know it's, it's it's what everybody says, but it's you know I think it is. Uh, uh, I've been well, eating too much of this good food. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and that can happen to all of us here in Louisiana. Yes. But I think that it's one of the things that it is a, a top resolution. And I think as long as you time yourself, you can you can eat the good stuff, and you just That's gotta right. kind of you know pace yourself. And so I'll be talking a lot about that. I'm sure in our <laughs> medical segment on how to get off those pounds. But until then, let's wish everyone a. Happy New, Happy New Year. Year. Thank you so much, you. Megan. I'm so looking forward to the party, and I just think it's a party here every, every day. day. <laughs> so thank, thank you for you. sitting with us and giving us the scoop. I'll because share something positive with you. You're going to share about positive? Absolutely. I like, that. I like okay, positivity. So New Year's Day, everybody gets together. And, you know, if you're at home, and at 8 o'clock in the morning, you watch the Rose Parade mm -hmm. from Pasadena, California. Louisiana has the first float 
ever in the Rose Parade. It was the first time we ever had a float in the Macy's Day Parade. Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser made that happen with the Louisiana Office of Tourism. We bring the party. People think of parades with Louisiana. Mm -hmm. New Year's Day, the morning of New Year's Day, start your new year off celebrating who you are, where you're from, where you live, and what we do as a state. Mm -hmm. So look at the Rose Parade. Yeah. You'll be able to see it. Look for the float. It's a Feed Your Soul theme float. Lane Hardy Feed is going to be the performer. Hot 8 out of New Orleans, Grammy nominated. They're going to rock it. They're going to show people how to have a good time. And there's going to be some phenomenal essential workers and heroes from Louisiana. So make sure you celebrate that and share that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I love you. And for all and things it's been a Louisiana, great, it's been a great year. Their website at LouisianaTravel.com. Louisiana yeah, and make sure if you're gonna rock it, make you sure rock you rock it right. That's woo, right. Woo. Into the new year. Are you a business owner that could use just one more customer? Those empty tables, vacant appointments, idle employees, and expired merchandise are missed opportunities. What if there were a community that connects you to high value and motivated customers, giving you a competitive edge in the marketplace and increasing your revenue? Introducing Partners One. You keep doing what you do best, taking care of your customers, and we'll do what we do best, sending you new customers to take care of. Call us today to find out how Partners One can work for your business. Rock It Right with Betsy Barnes and Dr. K. Solar is brought to you by these generous sponsors. Partners One, Better Barter for Baton Rouge and Beyond. Mary Bird Perkins, Our Lady of the Lake Cancer Center, Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts, Advantage Health Solutions with Dr. Boyd Michael Helm, High Tower Dental Concepts with Dr. Leah Larson, City Group Hospitality, including City Pork Brasserie and Bar, City Pork Catering, City Slice, City Taco, Rouge Creole, and Beau Soilet. Talent 360 Consulting with Vicki Little. Jeff Taylor, Realtor and Forester with Whitetail Properties. The Third Street Songwriters Festival. Elite Chiropractic with Dr. Ron McMorris. LouisianaIsATrip.com, take one. Thank you for making our show possible. At Hightower Dental Concepts, we take a compassionate approach to family dentistry. Our goal is to make your dental experience comfortable and informative so you can make the best dental care decisions for you and your family. We're welcoming new patients to our dental family at Essen and Perkins, and we look forward to meeting you soon at Hightower Dental Concepts. Call us today at 769-0031 or request your appointment at info at dentalconceptsbr.com. There's a joy of life you'll find only in Louisiana. A spirit of celebration that takes your senses places they've never been before. Where expressions of joy are an art form and our way of life. Where an abundance of good food, good times, and great music means there's more than enough to go around. Come one, come y'all. Come feed your soul in Louisiana. I'm John Goodman inviting you to visit LouisianaTravel.com and plan your getaway today. Money, wellness, fun. Rocket Right Radio takes you all across Louisiana and the nation with guests who live life to the fullest. I'm Hurricane Betsy Barnes. I'm Dr. K. Solar. You're going to love it. Join us every week when we cover everything under the sun. Live and learn with the Wright Sisters. Politics. Health. Music and entertainment. Local Lagnet. Rocket Right Radio. You're going to love it.